Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to subtract algebraic expressions. I have already shared a video where we can learn how to add the algebraic expressions. So let's understand how to subtract. For example, if the question is subtract 6a square plus 7b square minus 8c square from 9a square minus 10b square plus 16c square. So we will write down this term in the starting because it is like subtract 3 from 5. That means 5 minus 3. So we will write down this term in the beginning. 9a square minus 10b square plus 16c square minus then a bracket and within the bracket we will write down the term which is given in the beginning 6a square plus 7b square minus 8c square whenever we are going to subtract the algebraic expressions we have to put the negative sign here now negative outside the bracket means negative 1 so we can write this equation as 9a square minus 10b square plus 16c square minus 1 into 6a square plus 7b square minus 8c square. When we have to open the bracket, we have to multiply this negative 1 to all the terms given within the bracket. So we can write it as 9a square minus 10b square plus 16c square minus 1 into 6a square minus 1 into 7b square minus 1 into now since it's negative 8c square so we will write on this within the bracket now we'll get 9a square minus 10b square plus 16c square minus 1 into 6 is minus 6 a square minus 1 into 7 we will write on minus 7 then it's b square minus 1 into minus 8 is plus 8 then it's c square now once we will solve the bracket we will solve this multiplication part we have to write the like terms together so 9 a square minus 6 a square minus 10b square minus 7b square plus 16c square plus 8c square. That means 9 minus 6 is equals to 3 and with it we have a square. Minus 10 minus 7 that means minus 17 and with it we have b square. Then 16 plus 8 means 24 and with this we have c square. So the answer for this question is 3a square minus 17b square plus 24c square. Now let's understand the another example. Now in this question also whatever the terms are given after from we will write on it first ax square minus 6by square minus 7cz square minus then bracket 8ax square minus 9by square plus 10cz square. Now in this you can see ax square is the term which does not have any coefficient. So that means if variable is not having any coefficient we can write on one in front and if negative is given outside the bracket we can write it as negative one so let's make these changes before we solve this so ax square means one ax square minus six by square minus seven cz square minus one then bracket 8ax square minus 9by square plus 
10 c z square. Now we have to open the bracket. So we have to multiply negative 1 to all the terms which are given within the bracket. So we can write it as minus 1 into 8 a x square minus 1 into now since it's negative 9 b y square we write it in the bracket then negative 1 into 10 c z square so 1 a x square minus 6 b y square minus 7 c z square minus 1 into 8 negative 8 a x square negative 1 into negative 9 means positive 9 b y square negative 1 into 10 is negative 10 c z square now we have to write the like terms together 1 a x square negative 8 a x square negative 6 b y square positive 9 b y square negative 7 c z square negative 10 c z square which is equals to 1 minus 8 means negative 7 along with it we have a x square minus 6 plus 9 that's 3 plus 3 along with it we have b y square minus 7 minus 10 means minus 17 and along with it we have c z square so the answer for this question is minus 7 a x square plus 3 b y square minus 17 c z square for such helpful videos do not forget to like subscribe share and leave a comment in the comment section thanks for watching